He's out already. Bring him back. No, the protocol. You cannot bring him in. Why? <laughs>
how can I tell the people? Finally, the journey has been uh, inducted into the upper house of the Cameroon City State House. Um, uh, we thank God Almighty that made us see this day come true and I pray God that the wisdom that he imparted in Solomon should give us so that we are able to know the difference in life of the reason why we are here. In the life of our parliament that we are today being inducted as senators of the upper house and I hope that we shall do our best to the service of the people of this country. Yeah. Elected, we thank God for everything. Thank God for this blessing. Thank my national chairman of the SDF for giving me this opportunity to serve the nation. I say everything will be done for justice to be done in this country. Thank you everything for everything. I am very, very happy. Thank you. And we came out without any cases of incompatibility or those who were incapable, who, who, who suffered the fate of incompatibility, finally made their situations clear in the upper And the one of, one hundred of us who were elected and appointed at 70 slash 30 all received our session this afternoon. And I want to believe that this is the beginning of real work. And just like in the opening speech of the of Chief Mukete who said we should not accept everything. And just like the Senate the order how the order of the Senate has to be we are going to work fervently and with God's grace I think we are going to make a dream come true so that Cameroonians can have a peace of mind about the issue of change. Because I think with the seven of us representing the Social Democratic Front Party, representing the population of the Northwest province, we've come here for no other business than cause a change. And that would not have begun effectively if these sachets were not given us. Now that they've given us, or the government has given us, and we are in the house, we'll make a dream come true. Thank you very much. Valley. The Council of Azua and the population of Azua, the Council of Wum and the population of Wum, all together with the population of Mencham Division and Norway in particular, that they have made me proud to be here, especially this Excellency, the National Chairman of the Social Democratic Front, who insisted that I um, was going to be one of the senators of this region, that I um, found myself in Yaoundé, in this beautiful house. I'm so delighted. You're welcome, Dr. Thank you very much. Me, John Frundi, for giving me this opportunity to serve this our great nation. And uh, my expectations are... I am uh, this is a dream come true, and um, as to what I'm going to do with this new position, I've always been a developmental-oriented person, and uh, for me, the Senate is a law-making body, and I look at this situation, this position, that I will be able also to make a contribution to the laws of this country that will be positive for women, positive for young people, and laws that will bring us more development. I'm an economist, and I'm very interested change certain things and bring development to the country. And uh, coming from the Northwest region, we need a lot of development there. Government is already doing a lot in that direction. But uh, at this point in time, we would want everybody in the region to put their hands together so that we think peace and we bring peace because it is only by having peace that we can actually uh, um, achieve our objectives of having development, very high level development for our region and of course for the country. If, if one region is developing very fast, the whole country will also develop. Thank you. Thank you very much. was put in place. This scrutiny was meant to fish out those who had double standards. That those who were practicing dipping. What is dipping? You are earning two salaries and applying to either elective or appointed position in the state government. Consequently, you were earning two salaries. Therefore, for the past five years that the senatorial house existed, this attribute was never visited. Consequently, we had some seniors who were doing deep. They earned salary from either private or public parastatals, and they earned their usual salary as senators. When we came to this house, we quickly took the standing orders of the house, we digested it, and we made an article. We 
which had to explain incompatibility. That in itself was announced in the plenary on the first day that we came into the house and it attracted the interest of the foreign and the national administrative and executive borders of this country. So a commission was set in place with experts and with us in the Senate to dig into the abyss of the archives of this house and fish out those ones. This commission was for four groups. We have group A, B, C and D. Lo and behold, we were able to come out with a reasonable number of senators who had these double standards. And they had to press on by love, like I promised you, or by force. And they relinquished to one of these positions. And today we are proud to say that the seven mosquitoes that flew from the northwest region flew through the main entrance of this senatorial house, caused an effective change through Barista Kemende Henry, who spoke on her behalf. And today we are proud to say that the 100 senators who have been given sachets in this house today do not have double standards. Just because of that, I am very elated and proud. Not only to be a senator, but to be a senator from the Social Democratic Front, representing the masses of the Northwest region of this country, who I have seen here massively present to urge us to foster uh, our strength so that we move on. The battle and the struggle has just begun, my friends. We shall digest those standing orders. We shall make our voices felt. And I bet you that by 60 months, the storyline of the Cameroonians will never be the same. I want to use this opportunity to thank you in particular, Mr. Nimpa, who has traveled all the way from the Northwest, together with the folks of the Northwest region, to come and give the grand that is occasion There's no much ado. I feel very convinced and satisfied that the journey of a thousand miles has just begun. God will surely see us through. And the good Lord that brought you all the way from the Northwest region to this place will definitely take you back safely. While we go merrymaking, we should not forget that the journey has just begun. God bless you. God bless everybody. And most especially, God bless our national chairman, Nijon Fu. Thank you very much. I represent Boyo Division within the list of the SDF senators in the Northwest region. Uh, today is a sum total of uh, work that we have started. As soon as elections were, were convened uh, in February, we went through elections and results were proclaimed. And uh, today is the day that we have uh, officially been recognized as senators of this uh, country. And, uh, as a, a senator of the Northwest region, I feel honored to be here as a senator for the Northwest and to serve my people. I'm happy to have that uh, opportunity. And at the same time, I have a heavy heart when I think of what is uh, currently going on in my region, the Northwest region, with the angry food crisis. And it's my prayer that uh, as we are starting this mandate, the angry food crisis should be the first issue to be handled uh, by this Senate. It's my prayer that uh, we find peace for our people.